Greetings all, Banny here for Aquarius's weekly message. Aquarius, it is not only the weekly message, but the 100th message that we have done together. The first two cards that come out for you are the Mother and the Pilgrim. I'm immediately getting gypsy vibes from this. Spirit, do you have another message? Thank you. The Threshold and the Lover. Oh my. That is a lot. Give me a moment, Aquarius. I want to make sure that all of these are for yours. Because this is a new deck. And I want to make sure that I'm giving the message the way it needs to be. The Mother is the very first card of the deck. She is the balance of the divine feminine energy, the light and the dark of it both. It's described in the book, the mother both nurtures and prohibits growth. She gives yet clings. She creates yet restricts. Amidst this complex energy, the mother holds the key to the eternal challenge of love. The pilgrim and the threshold card share an image and meaning of a necessary change that is needing to be undertaken right now and that is why the mother has come out for you Aquarius because a mother never wants to see their child hurt even though they know that that is how they grow that is how they develop they still want to cradle them and keep them safe in a little bubble wrap but that is not where they become their greatest and highest the pilgrim card literally states travel light and travel soon because your soul needs it the threshold card states that there is something that is being removed or taken away from your energy, your vessel, or your ego to make room for this other thing that must be coming in. So this is hesitancy to change, but the necessity to do so. Spirit, can the Moonology deck give any words of advice, wisdom, or comfort to Aquarius? as they battle this challenge of their new beginning, their new identity, challenging safety over security. You have a personal issue is within reach. Full moon in Cancer. You also have believe in the impossible, blue moon. Now blue moons are called such because it's very rare for two full moons to occur in a single month. Basically you would have a full moon at the beginning of the month and a full moon at the end of the month. It only happens once a year, if that. Your hard work is paying off and show the world the real you. New moon in Capricorn to full moon in Aquarius. There is something about you that is wanting to be seen that is wanting to be shown and it's something that has not been found yet that is why you have to take this pilgrimage that is why you have to take this journey of self-discovery breaking through that threshold i'm not full or empty just cracked i was desperate to find a way back gotta find up step gotta light up depth with a little more depth with the strength i got left there's a little whisper in your ears telling me the change is near and i can see a fast approaching sign and i can break out every line it's telling me that it's almost my time it is almost your time and i would say that it is to discover who and what you are what you want the priestess embody i am the embodiment of the divine feminine light and dark and the darkness of the divine feminine isn't something to be afraid of we are all born out of darkness of our mother's womb that is where we are most cradled and held that is where we are able to be reborn and recreated our vessel is formed the Cosmic Enchantress, Wishcraft. I tracked a steady flow of abundance. Wishcraft is the law of attraction. Mentality shapes reality. And there is quite the shifting of mentality here because I feel this helicopter energy that this mother has done has prevented you from growing forth and breaking out of that nest, as it were. Because I'm looking at the imagery here. And how the mother 
snake is so wrapped up so tightly around her eggs to protect them in their weakened state. But they're not weak anymore. And you're not weak anymore. And that same nest that you grew up in is now a confinement. And you are at a threshold where you either need to go or just not. So there is something about yourself that you need to learn. And that's the scary part because when we don't have any ground or direction for who we are, we, those who stand for nothing fall for anything. We live more in naivety and bliss because we don't know the hardships or the struggles that we have had to go through. You have birth, the universal midwife. I birth fruitful and sacred assignments as well as the oracle forecast. I am the oracle. My intuitive insight flows freely. Being a mother or being a parent in general might be something that's very important for you right now. And I do want to speak because this is such heavy divine feminine energy. As a man, you too would have divine feminine energy. As a woman, I have divine masculine energy and have in fact leaned more into that in my life than my divine feminine. Because divine masculine energy is very go get em, ambitious, big headed kind of ego mentality. Divine feminine is a lot more submissive, withdrawn, and caring. And in a defensive situation, you lean more towards in the divine masculine because you feel more empowered. But it is truly the power of the divine feminine that is the greatest. It is the power of creation. It is the power of rebirth, care, and compassion. So this is what I want you to pour over yourself right now, Aquarius. To break through that threshold, to break through that mirage in that cage that we have either put ourselves in or that we have been in for a very long time. Because it's not like you haven't been doing work. It's not like you haven't been trying and looking around and seeing where am I being pulled to? What is calling to me? But now is the time to make moves to break yourself free to get out of this situation so that not only you, but the other people that were being suppressed and cared for by this energy. It, it's so interesting because it really is like a helicopter mom. It's not, you're not stunting your own growth out of a lack of love for yourself. It's fear that you're gonna get hurt that you're not strong enough, that you're not smart enough, that there is something more you need to do before you get somewhere. Well, my love, you're not ready until you have to be. You're not prepared until you find out if you're, 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 it, you're in it. There will never be a perfect moment in time where you're given the go ahead to go after your dreams. You have to follow your heart where it is leading you day to day, moment to moment, and find your passion, find your, your drive and your shine in this world. And it might be in creation, it might be in love and compassion, it might be in some form of therapy, it might just be you being a little drummer in the subway. Whatever your heart is pulling you towards, please listen to it and please understand it will never sound like anxiety. Have a beautiful day, Aquarius.